Hello again. Welcome to For Pet's Sake. We're at the Nevada County Animal Shelter at 14647 McCourtney Road out in front of the transfer station. Our hours are from 1 until 4, Monday through Saturday, and we'd love to have you come out and visit our wonderful animals. We're here with Toby. I almost gave him the wrong name. We're here with Toby. Toby is a big guy. He's almost 25 pounds, and he's been at the shelter for a few weeks. We found out that he doesn't really get along well with little children, so he should probably come to a home where he's got uh, a ways to move around so he can lose a little weight, but also has a place where he can be the only cat. Sharon, you're holding he him. How adorable. does he feel? He is adorable. I mean, he is just, he's got a real personality. And he is a big guy, but he is so handsome. And he is really a lovely, lovely cat. Very sweet, very gentle despite his size. And uh, he'd make a wonderful cat for someone who has some room for him to wander. I've, I've spent some time with Toby, and he's fast. If you put him down on the floor, he can move around. He's very agile for his size. And he is not an obese cat so much as he's a big cat. But he says, get me out of here. Yes. I'm in the biggest cage in the place, and it's just not big enough for me. You can't really see how big he is. Maybe we'll tape him at the end of the show in his Whoa, cage so you can see. Is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is Toby. <laughs> This is Ben. Ben is a survivor. Ben was brought in. He had been astray out in Penn Valley, and he would sneak in to get food because he obviously needed some. But he was an unneutered male, and so he got a lot of fights. He's got scars. He's got a scarred ear. He came in with a laceration on his foot, which even needed a stitch. And he is just a sweetheart. You can tell how much he loves attention. He should not have to be out there struggling on his own. Sharon, what do you think? He is just the sweetest oh. cat. He is like purring so loudly right now, and he is in seventh heaven, I'm telling you. Uh, anybody who takes Ben home is going to find an absolutely loving, adorable cat. He, he's, he's been checked out um, so that he's healthy. He's about two years old, and he should definitely be a cat that's in a home with people who want to give him all this love and attention. Yeah. He's a sweetheart. Come and adopt me. My name is Ben. My name is Ben. This is Chester. Chester is not so sure he wants to be in this room, but he really wants to come out and find a good home. Chester came in about a month ago. He was a stray. He kept stealing food from people in the neighborhood or cats in the neighborhood, and so they brought him in. He's been neutered. He's a charming guy, and he will talk to you. Sharon? He's very talkative. He's, he is wonderful soft fur, and of course, orange cats are one of my favorites. He loves kitty treats, and he loves to be brushed and handled. And he's just saying right now, I've been moved from one person to another person to another, and I was just about ready to eat my food this morning when they interrupted me to be on TV. But he said, I'm handsome, and I would love a home. I would love a home. And he's very soft. You are very soft. See, now he's settling down. He says, oh, this isn't so bad. Maybe I'll be a TV star after all. Yeah. Yeah. Come and give me a forever home, because I'm a star. This is Sunny. Sunny's about four years old, and she's been here just a couple of weeks. She came in with her sister, Callie, and Callie has been adopted. This was an owner turn in because the owner had health issues and felt he couldn't keep her anymore. She's about four. She's a real sweetheart. And Sharon, you just picked her up. How is yeah, she Yeah, I've never uh, met Sunny before. I just picked her up. At first she wasn't quite sure, but now she's loving it. She's purring. 
Again, she's got very soft fur, very sweet, very pretty gray and white kitty, huh? She says, oh, please, come and get me. I like living with my owner, and now I don't live there, and I want a home again because cages are too small. Sunny has a little bit of an issue with eyes, and so she's going to be checked out by the vet, and they're even talking about a little bit of acupuncture for her. But she will be checked out to make sure that this is not a condition that's of any concern to her next owner. But she is sweet. Yeah. She is very sweet, and she's very beautiful. And, very, and she's purring. I wish you could hear her purr. I can almost hear it from here. Anyway, she's saying, come and get me. I don't want to be here any longer. Right, that's what she's saying in cat talk. <laughs>
This is Barbara. Barbara is more of a dog person, but she has taken to chance one of our very special kitties. And she's one of the few that really has gotten chance to mellow out. So I'm going to let Barbara tell you about chance. Well, this sweet little gray kitty is about two years old. And she came in, and she probably spent some time outside, is what I think, because she was so terrified that she just hid in the back of her cage. But we started petting her on the head, and when she calmed down, she turned into a regular purring machine and worked our way down her back. And today she is very, being very brave. She's come out to confront the camera, and she is just a really sweet, nice, loving kitty who wants somebody who can take a little time to, you know, gain her trust, and then she's going to be a great, great kitty for somebody. Yeah, she is so pretty. She's probably going to hide a lot when she first comes to a new home, so it's going to take somebody who really wants to take the time to learn to know her well. She actually had tick paralysis when they found her, and she was under a porch, so she came in in not very good physical shape, but she's now healthy, and she's a real sweetheart. She's going to stay a small cat, and she probably would do well to be an only cat. I think maybe, but really kind of hard to tell. Just out of the fear thing, I think it might be better for her to be the only one around, but I don't know. Have we tried her with? No, we haven't. Okay, well, that might be something that we'll do in the next day or so. But she, yeah, she will hide for a while. But then when you have, you know, once she trusts you, boy, she really is going to glom on and be your pal. Look at her. Isn't she lovely? Hello, my name is Cheryl Wicks, and I'm the co-founder of Sammy's Friends. And uh, we have exciting news. We're going to be operating the shelter as of July 1st. We're looking for people who want to volunteer to walk the dogs, cuddle the cats, paint the building, do some gardening, uh, do some uh, fine art painting of doggies and kitties around the shelter. We're looking for all kinds of people, so come on out and see us. We'll be here after July 1st. Um, also, um, thank you to the community for all the support that we've been given so far, and we hope that the community continues to support us so that we can do really good things out here for the dogs and cats and uh, get them all wonderful homes and get them socialized. And of course, it's springtime. It's prime, prime, prime mating time. So if you have a dog or a cat, now is the right time. Now, 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 today, to get your cat or dog spayed or neutered so they do not reproduce. There are um, too many animals. Between 4 and 5 million animals get euthanized every year in the United States because there's no home for them. So the animals that come out of here, the, you know, probably 98% of them have done absolutely nothing but be homeless. And uh, so this is kind of our little homeless shelter. So get your animals spayed and neutered. Uh, you can get low-cost uh, spaying and neutering at Animal Save, 477-1706. You can go to the spay and neuter clinic in Auburn for uh, even less money, 889-8800. Um, you can come out here to the Nevada County Animal Shelter at 14647 and get a certificate that's worth $60 for a female dog, $40 for a male, $30 for a female cat, and $15 for a male cat. And Take that to any veterinarian you want, and you'll get that much off your spay or neuter. But please do it, and if you... Um, Still need more help, you can always call me, Cheryl, at 272-8833. We just need to get them all spayed and neutered so they all get great homes and don't reproduce. So thank you very much for listening to me week after week on my same message of spaying and neutering. I'll probably go to my coffin talking about spaying and neutering. <laughs> thank you. Well, this is our friend Nell. Nell is probably between two and three years old, and we think that she is a cross between a Pekingese and a Chow. We're really hoping that Dad was the Pekingese. Um, but anyway, it looks like she may have had a litter or two in her lifetime, and when she was picked up, she was pretty skinny, um, probably had been out on her own for a while, but she is filling out nicely, and she is just about as sweet a dog as you can find. Just nice, nice, nice. She has good manners. She walks nicely on a leash, and, and uh, the volunteers keep commenting, oh, she is just so sweet. Um, would just make the quintessential family pet. Sit, buddy. 
Okay, and this is Dundee. Um, I'm sorry to say that Dundee has been with us for quite a while now. He is a definitely a hound dog. We think maybe a bloodhound mixed with pointer. And I think one reason he hasn't gotten adopted is because his way of greeting is to bark. Oh. Arr, 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 arr. Yeah. <laughs> Careful, we're going to give you a live sample. Come on. But um, anyways, which puts people off. And he howls his greeting at other dogs, and some people think that he is, you know, going to be aggressive, which he isn't. That's just his way of saying hello. He is a hound. He is not gonna. He's not gonna be Mr. Velcro, um, but he's a nice guy. And I took him out to the mine, and we. He spent 15 minutes with his nose in the air and on the ground, and then we had a really nice walk where he actually paid a little attention to me, and he is. He's just a nice boy. Um, if you have gopher problems, I'm sure he would take care of those. Yes, and uh, he's just a nice guy to have around out in your yard. He does need a very tall fence, um, very tall fence. He does like to jump. And uh, but and he needs to be kept home and kept safe. You know, I have only taken Dundee out for a few walks, and as I say, he, he uh, as you said, he gets his nose to the ground and then he fixates on that for a while. But after a while, he does he does calm down, walks well. He's just an all-around nice doggy. Hey, buddy. This is Carl. Carl appears to be a shepherd. Uh, chow mix and he is a very very nice boy and Carl too has been here quite a while and I think one reason that he's been here so long is that we got the impression and it was wrong that Carl was not good with children um, what Car Carl is not good with is very uh, a sudden motion somebody suddenly coming into his line of sight from behind or something like that and even at that, he doesn't uh, uh, react aggressively. He just gets very alert and kind of, you know, at attention. And then once he knows what it is, he's just fine. But I took Carl over to the mine, and we saw children. We saw had kids on little tricycles roaring right by us. Um, he was just fine. And then last week, we had a family here with... Oh, five or six children, and they were all over Carl, and he was standing there wagging his tail. He is a nice, nice boy. We also thought he wasn't real good with other dogs. It's turning out that that's not exactly the case either. He, he's not going to be a dog park kind of a dog. Um, we don't need to be a dog park kind of a dog. But he isn't aggressive with other dogs. He doesn't like great big dominant ones that are bigger than him. But... Um, He's not going to be a problem. He is a warm, affectionate, very, very nice dog. He's smart. He's going to bond well. And I think he, too, he's going to be a great family dog. Um, you know, I really think a lot of these dogs here really just need some consistency and some affection. You know, as Caesar says, exercise, discipline, and affection. And they are lacking in that. And I think just a little of that can make them turn around. No, Carl's a good boy. And we hope you come on out and take a look at him. <laughs> All right. Well, this pair of exuberant labs, <laughs> they came in together. Um, their owner turned them in because they were raiding the neighbor's chicken coop. Uh, obviously, they are not going to a home that has chickens. But... Uh, the, the big chocolate guy here who is, oh, is finally sitting. That is Moose, and he's about three and a half years old. And Sally here is about two years old. I kind of have a feeling Sally likes to roll in the, in the wet grass because we did give her a bath <laughs> a few days ago, and she's back to dirty. But these two really love each other. They haven't uh, had a whole lot of training, <laughs> um, maybe not any, but they are just nice, happy labs. If you have it in the room in your home and your heart, we would love to see these two go together because they really do love one another, 
And they're just, you know, quintessential family pets. No chickens, though. No chickens. We did have them in the side yard playing the other day, and they're, they're fantastic together. It would be really nice to see them go to a home together. Yes, it's a good, good guys. Yes, and this is Moose and Sally. Hi. Oh, aw. <laughs> oh. Well, I was just saying, I really don't know very much about Lenny, but I think I know need all I need know all I need to. He is just lovely. He is probably a little over one years old, um, certainly no more than two. And he is a brindle. We love brindle. Whippet mix. We really, really love whippet mixes. <laughs> I've had two, and they just are smart, sweet, loving, loving dogs. And Lenny is exception he is just about as nice a dog he has been very quiet keeps a very tidy kennel walks quite nicely on leash is not in any way shape or form aggressive um, towards uh, the other animals I, my guess is that he's probably a little afraid of the other dogs but uh, just a nice nice dog and as I say I've had two whippet mixes wouldn't trade him in for anything. I don't know much about um, Lenny Barber. I, I've walked him a couple times. He's great on the leash. He's interested. You know, he's, he's not introverted by any means. Um, just a nice boy. Yep. Nice boy. Come get a, come get a nice brindle whippet mix. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this little darling is Midge. Midge is a Jack Russell mix, maybe mixed with a Chihuahua. She is way cute, isn't she? And about three years old, very generous with kisses. Uh, she was found wandering around in Gateway Park out in Penn Valley. So if this is your dog, um, well, if this is your dog, she's probably been adopted. But <laughs> it's the truth of the matter. You do need, if your dog strays off and you haven't found it, you do need to get out and look for it because you have four days uh, to come and redeem your animal before it becomes the county's property and then, or the county's um, custody. And, uh, and, and after those four days, your animal will be spayed, neutered, if it hasn't been already, and will be adopted out. And this little girl will not be here long. Um, and I tell people who come in looking for small dogs, there are a lot of people who want small dogs. The truth of the matter is we don't get many, but we do get some. And um, if, cutie yes, and little cutie, and she is, she's quiet, she's sweet, just nice girl but uh, if you want a small dog from the shelter what you need to do is just turn it into a project um, come out a couple of times a week and uh, just take a quick look um, because as I say the little dogs are very much in demand and we just don't get oh more than maybe one a week tops so we are the Nevada County Animal Shelter um, we are right before the transfer station in Grass Valley. I think our number is 14647. <laughs> it's the one right before the transfer station. And we're open here from Monday through Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m. And the phone number out here is 273-2179. And if you have a question about the animals, uh, you want to talk to our kennel attendant. And that would be extension 7, so 273-2179. Okay, that's right. And I was just reminded not everybody is in Nevada County who is watching this. Um, you are at 530 area code 273-2179. Okay, well, if, you, if you're unable to come out to the shelter, but you'd like to take a look at what we have, you can go to uh, www.petfinder, all one word, petfinder.com. You put in the type of animal that you're looking for. It can be dog, cat, 
barn animals. Uh, I think s small and furry is a category. Um, but <laughs> put in the category you're looking for and either the city, Grass Valley, or the zip code 95949. And up pop not only our animals, but all of the animals in our local shelters or uh, rescue groups. Um, and there are about four pages worth of animals right here in our area that you could take a look at. So, and um, Beverly and I did want you and all of us want you to remember or notice that the ticks are out, the fleas are out, mosquitoes are out, and I've even seen some rattlesnakes. So, too, if you don't have your animals on heart guard and front line, please get them on that. Uh, Beverly, what do you think about the heart guard? Well, you know, I found that a lot of people that I know figure that heart guard is too expensive. I have three 50 to 100 pound dogs, so I have to get the pills that are from 50 to 100 pounds. And it costs me $5 for each dog each month. That's $15 a month. Um, it's not expensive, and it, it just saves your animal from such despair and agony and death. And, you know, it's de well, definitely worth it. And treatment for heart guard right. is Very really, expensive. really expensive. So much better to spread your payments out month to month in little doses than have your poor animal get filled up with heartworms, be miserable, and then you shell out about $400. So get them on the heart guard, get them on the front line, or, you know, revolution, which whatever your choice is. But this is the time. And as I say, I have seen a rattlesnake at my house. Um, so they are out at this time of year. I'm told they're lethargic, but they are coming out. They'll be shedding their skins, and once they shed their skins, then they get friskier. So um, just pay attention uh, to make sure that your animals and you are safe from the rattlesnakes. So I was just thinking about the, the heart guard and mosquitoes. Standing water around your property, especially after all the rains we've had, empty the buckets, empty the bins, you know, little puddles, fill them in with sand or brush or whatever. Get rid of that standing water. For love? For life. For, for pet pet's sake. sake. She was scared, cold, and hungry Abandoned way out in the country Tossed out like burger wrappers And crushed soda cans Soon she's gonna have a litter Six more unwelcome critters have to grow up fast or they won't have a fighting chance she needs love unconditional love the kind you and I would want for every one of us it's not that hard give in to your With each car that flew by A little more of his hope died As he waited on the shoulder For someone to stop heart was simple and so pure that he was positively sure they'd come back to get him so he wasn't real 